another wonderful day that we're going to be discussing classes. We were able to look at the genres, the styles and literature. Okay. So today we're going to be continuing this. And like we all know, our new platform for learning is educateafricans.com. As I was explaining to them before Network hooked me up before this class, we were able to look at the website. That is where we are going to be starting our classes from next month. Everything we are doing, all these my lecture slides are going to be put there. That is where we are going to be having our classes from. So if you've not gone there to register as a student, then you're not doing the right thing. So quickly go to the website, educateafricans.com. This is the address. Just type it into your address bar. It will lead you. You're going to see the menu where they said register as a student. Click there and get registered and start taking the lectures. Everything we are going to be doing from next month will be from there. By next month, I will not be the only teacher teaching you again by next month. All our teachers are getting ready for you from first of next month. So like this class now will be handled by the literature teacher. Your English will be handled by your English teacher. Your chemistry will be done by your chemistry teacher. So you're gonna enjoy me now that I'm still teaching the courses because by next month, other people are gonna start teaching them one by one. So. And uh, I urge you to enjoy and cooperate with those teachers when they will start from next month. So most importantly, you need to have gone to this website, Educator Africa and register, so that when they start, you, they will see your names as students. They will know how to assist you, how to help you. Also, make sure that you're added to our special WhatsApp group. It's not the general group that you people are in. They call it Jambo Ethnical Union. There's another special group where if you have any question, once you ask, one of our teachers will help you out immediately, okay? So in our previous classes, we looked at what drama is, and we said that drama is simply an imitated action of a play that shows a story that is told in action by actors, known as impersonators. Then we looked at the different types of drama, tragedy, comedy, tragedy, comedy, melodrama, parts, and we looked at each of them with the examples. Tragedy, the example is the Shakespeare Romeo. And you let Dr. Bach come in flashback when you're trying to remember what Sorry, can we get me back now? I had network issues. Talk to me now, you're looking at me. I tell eight three seven. <laughs> You're laughing. You're Good smiling. evening, sir. <laughs> How are you? Good evening, yeah. sir. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, sir. My, my network had this. Is it okay, of the network network had this. Well, but... you can hear me now, ma. Oh. Yeah, I can hear you very well, sir. Good evening, sir. Can you hear me now? Actually, this is okay. my first time. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I can hear you. This is my first time. Yeah, I can. I noticed yes, that. Sir. So, what's your name? <laughs> Olua Shion, sir. Olua Shion. Olua Shion. Uh, we have plenty of Olua. Yes. 
Okay, the other person is on the lower side. Okay. So, uh, are you a literature student? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I was just going through what we had done before now. We looked at drama. We said what drama is, the types of drama that we have, the tragedy comedy, tragedy comedy and rest. I looked at the dramatic techniques. And, uh, so, we also looked at prose. All this we've done before. Today, we're supposed to look at poetry. So, I'm just uh, trying to kind of do a, a little revision. So that for those of you that you're not able to join the previous classes so that you're like, get to know what we've done so far and be able to move on with us. So we looked at prose, we said that okay. prose are all forms of written or spoken expressions. We do not have regular written pattern. And, and there are two major types. We have the friction and the non-friction. We have the fiction, sorry, and the non-fiction. So those are the two. Uh, fictions are those ones that uh, somebody wrote out of his own imagination. But non-fiction are about stories that are real, like somebody's life story, or autobiography, if it is written by the person. If it is written by another person, we'll call it a uh, biography, okay? So we say that the term fiction is for narrative writing drawn from the imagination of the author rather than history of fact. But if the stories are from history of fact, call it non-fiction, okay? So there are different types of these yes, uh, uh, fiction as well. So example is what we call novel. Novel is longer than novel. Yeah, so examples of novels are like the one, uh, China Chapel, Things Fall Apart, the fiction. Uh, you have what they're saying, cars, uh, high tops and other ones. So we also have a novelette. This applies to work of prose fiction of intermediate length, longer than short story, but shorter than novel. So these novelettes are not as long as novels. I'll give examples as well. Okay. Then we went on to look at uh, went on to look at non-fiction. I would say for non-fiction, these are opposite of fiction. So that means they are actually true experiences or true things that are taking place. The example is the autobiography. Autobiography is when you are writing, when somebody is writing his own life story. So like the, my early life written by Obafemi Awolowo is actually the life history about Obafemi Awolowo written by himself. So once his, the story is written by yourself, it is known as autobiography. But if it is written by another person, it is known as biography. So other examples of autobiographies are my Odyssey by Nadia Tsikiwe, Zambia shall be free by Kennedy one. Okay. So moved on to look at biographies, which, which are actually the written accounts of persons' life, written done by another person. The example is the life and death of Lenin, done by Robert Payne, and the Prince of the Niger, done by. Okay. okay, so those are the things we yes, looked at, and today uh, we're going to be looking at uh, sorry, today we're going to be looking at uh, poetry. That's today's uh, today's class is poetry. Okay, so poetry has to do with the act of poem writing. So poetry has to do with poems, poems. So when you talk about poetry, you know we are talking about poems. So you look, you look at the first style of literature that we looked, drama. You always have people, it is acted on stage. It has other elements like the story that is being acted. You have the actors that are coming together to be the actors. That's for poetry. Whereas that's for drama. Whereas for prose, talk about continuous writing about somebody's life or a novel. So that is prose. But in poetry, you talk about reading. Somebody imagines something, puts it in, so, in form of a song, in form of reading. He expresses himself or herself to other people. So that once you're reading at this very organized literature, poetry is always very organized. So we say that poetry has to do with poem writing. Poem can be described as literally composition characterized by the presence of imagination, emotions, truth, sense of impression, and concrete language expressed rhythmically. So this is uh, very important that you note rhythmically. It has to be done rhythmically. 
Once it's a poetry, it has to have a rhythm. It's like a song. It has to have a rhythm. It has to make sense. You're not just putting things together. You have to put them together in such a way that it is attractive. Uh, talking about poetic work. Okay? So it's an orderly arrangement of the past, possessing within itself a unit. The bottom of poems express experience of intense feeling and thoughts, which are written in line. So when you're reading a poem, it's telling you about somebody's intense feeling. What somebody you see people during the um during the NSAS movement, you see people writing some lines of poem that tells you about what Nigerians are passing through in the hands of SARS and the kind yeah. of uh, uh, things that are happening around the, the, the protest and everything. So that person is looking at what is happening in the country, but he's not just talking about it, but he's creating an, a, a, a book of acts, creating a rhythmic, rhythmic arrangement of those emotions and feelings. So when you put it in writing, we say that you're doing well for poetry. Okay, so you have to do it line by line and it has to have rhythm. Traditionally, these lines are measured each letter that begins every line of words is written. capital letter. So then, such measurement depends on the arrangement of regular numbers of stressed and unstressed levels within a line. This is called meter and it determines the reading in the point. This form of arrangement is described as fast. Which may or may not be divided into standards. So you have your parts divided into standards. Then, however, modern poets, that, that is, those who write poems, do not only use small letters at the beginning of some of the lines of poetry, but also use irregular reading, which is popularly known as free verse. So there are, in, in, in contemporary times, there are modifications to what we used to know as. The, the, the standards of our poem. Now, standards means a group of lines forming a unit. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Let's move on. So, what are the types of poetry that we have? What are the types of poetry? We have what we call the sonnet. We have the poem. The lyrics, the melody, the ballad, the epic, the love verse. Okay, so we're going to be looking at these uh, types of poetry one by one. And uh, okay, I don't want us to move too fast. Uh, I just stop at these types of poetry. We're going to continue from here to the next class. We don't want to cover so much so that one. People that are joining me will not be And very importantly, um, we're going to be summarizing the novels that you're supposed to read for your jam. We're going to be summarizing the novels. So, even after teaching you poetry, the next thing I will look at is uh, figures of speech. So, after looking at figures of speech, we'll go straight to uh, go straight to the novels. So we take the African literature that we're supposed to read, all of them, we'll summarize them, and then when we come to the class, we'll look at them together, okay? Yes, so sir. a sonnet is a lyrical poem that contains 14 lines. The technology, there are two types of these. We have the Patrakan or the Italian sonnet. Okay. We also have the Ude, which is a long lyrical poem, which is addressed to ideas, objects, animals, or persons. Example are the Woodward's Ode. This is a long lyrical poem that addressed to ideas, objects, animals, sound. Whereas sonnets are lyrical poems that contain 14 lines. So take note. Now, lyric is an adjective from the word layer. A lyric is there for any poem which can be sung, especially to the accompaniment of layer, uh, which is an ancient uh, Greek musical instrument. The so lyric has an easy moving, regular rhythm with end rhymes. Okay, yeah. so those are the uh, different types of uh, poetry. You can also have a 
or ballad. Uh, this is a sort of poem often handed down from generation to generation. Uh, this means that his largest part is preserved through memory, past themes celebrating legend, legends and red village heroes. So there are also properties common to our community. Such stories of poem could be celebrating a great hunter who brought an elephant to the town alive, or one who captured the hundred nuns populating a specific location before the arrival of the ancestors. So now recite it, okay? So that's ballads. So a uh, poem that has to do with stories of heroes passed from one generation to the other. Now we also have what we call Barnet Greek. This is poem written or rendered in praise of a person or thing. Poem rendered in praise of a person or thing. Now we also have Epic. This is a long poem narrating the very deeds of a people or some of great men. The hero usually excels in courage and confidence. Again, like the injury from Wolesho Inka is an epic. And finally, we have the black verse. This is the type of verse that has no terminal rhymes at the end of the line of the poetry. It usually has lines of five stress and five of stress levels. That give a major known as um, Okay, so these are the various uh, types of poetry. So please, you can do more research on them. And uh, so that I want the next class, I want us to look at um, figures of speech. So after figures of speech, then we'll go straight into the novels. That will, so we'll start reading the novels. We'll start looking at past questions and we'll start getting ready. So, Ulua, Ulua, she, no, Ulua, uh, the new person, remind me of your name. Ulua, she, Ulua, she, Ulua, she, Ulua, she, okay, yeah. good, so we're going to continue uh, from, from here, so get ready for figures of speech, and, uh, and then one of the literature that was supposed to be okay. So please uh, make sure you know about our website, like I was saying. Okay. From next month, our website is where we're going to be learning from. We're not going to be doing any other thing from uh, from what uh, uh, was it called? The lectures will be presented from the, from, the, from our website. Please go there and register. Register as a student. That once we start, all the lectures we are doing, they are already on the lectures. So all, all of them are already on the website, all the lectures. So this is the website, educateafrican.com. Once you are there, click on student registration so that you register yourself. All our assignments will be through this platform. So once you click on all courses, you see all the available courses. Click on any of them, you start having their classes. So you can see today we just added government. We are still adding it. You click on it and it will open into the class. You can see this government. Click on, click on enroll. This is enroll. Once you enroll, you can start having the government classes. And all the classes, we arrange them according to your curriculum. Here and I can click on start course. It is arranged according to your curriculum, line by line, the division of government, the next thing. Those of you that want to study, uh, what is it called? Oh. Uh, say, what do you want to study in the university? Mascom. No, Mascom, okay. So Mascom, you might you might you have to do government. Are you offering government exam? Yes. Okay. So you yes, can sir. See now, we have all these forms of government. So you can see forms of government. Everything is already here. You click on quiz. This is where you'll be doing your quiz. These quiz are from past questions. So once you click on this video, you can see forms of government, democracy, and all these. We have them in written form, merits of democracy. We've looked at this already. So in case you missed it, you go to the website, you see it. You click on the video itself, you're going to see the video lecture. So similar to me talking to you and teaching you. So it's a very fantastic platform. 
That's where we're going to be working from. Yes, what? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So I'm going to stop this. So if you have any question, you can click on this browse key and if you ask us your question, type in your question and submit. This is where you type it in. Your question, you can ask me what is government. So once you ask, you submit your question, click here to submit. We'll be able to see it from outside and from outside. So most of the things we are going to be doing from next month will feed from this world. Website. So that's what we say. Quickly go there, click on this student registration, register so that we can see you as our student. You can be able to monitor your progress as you prepare for your jump and work. So see you when I see you. Thank you. God bless you. I'm happy you joined. Yes, see sir. you some other time. All right, sir. Thank you, sir.